Hey guys, welcome back to the review table and today we are having a look at Mattel's Jurassic World's Indoraptor. Now to start off with the box, uh, it's kind of like a half box considering that the Indoraptor is already out and y y you know what I mean. So on the top you have the Jurassic World's logo, you have Owen, Blue, the Indoraptor's name, and at the side you have a picture of the Indominator, or I'm sorry, the, the Indoraptor. And at the back you have the Indoraptor toy in some pretty cool poses. And right here it says movie authentic poseability and it says the same thing in some other different languages. So that's pretty much it for the packaging. Now it's time to unbox. So now we got the Indoraptor out of his little box prison. We actually have to do a quick assembly. Uh, we have to put the back of his tail together. Uh, and right here you can see there's like a little ball joint peg thing right there. And there's a little hole inside his uh, tail. So you pretty much just have to push this in until you hear a snap. Oh. I think I... There we go. It's a little bit difficult, but it's, you know. All right, so uh, now that we got the Indoraptor out of his little box prison, I'm going to uh, measure him real quick, see how tall he is. And he stands about eight and a half inches tall. And let's see, and he is about uh, 13 and a half inches wide. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, we are going to uh, take a closer look at the Indoraptor. Rah! <laughs> okay, um, so I'm gonna start off with the paint job on this guy. Uh, I really love the, the black shining color to him. Uh, and also the golden stripe across his body looks pretty cool. His red eye looks pretty neat as well. I'm not sure why they added like a, like, I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but I'm not sure why they added this little red dot scar thing by his eye. I'm not sure why they did that, but still looks pretty cool. Um, now, uh, in the movie, the Indoraptor wasn't really black. It was more like, kind of like this light grayish type color, but honestly, I think I like this one better just because I think it looks cooler. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but uh, he also has like these little white specks across his body. So it's definitely a nice touch, like some little white sparkles on him. So it's pretty cool. The sculpting on this guy is pretty good as well. I really like the, the scales on his body, the claws, the teeth, the eyes, the little hair scale things on his head and his back. Now, in case you guys don't know who the Indoraptor is, he's basically like the the bad guy dinosaur in uh, Fallen Kingdom. He's he's actually a hybrid. He's half Indominus Rex and half uh, Velociraptor. Uh, I'm trying to remember why the people in that mansion even made this guy. It's, I don't know why they invented this, but probably just because they were stupid. All right, now for the articulation, he has a whole bunch, which, you know, he should because he's super posable. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm going to start off with the head right here. Uh, his jaw can move right about to there and it can close. It, well, maybe not, but still, it's okay. Um, he has a little bit of a ball joint at the head. He's also got another ball joint at the base of the neck. Uh, for his arms, it can move that far, and it's also got a, hang on, there we go. It's also got a twisting motion. It's a little bit tricky at first, but still, got to get the joints loosened up. Um, the elbow has a little bit of a ball joint, and it can also uh, move here to there. And the hand pretty much just does the same thing as the elbow does. Uh, okay. Now for the legs, uh, they can move, move your hand here, buddy. <laughs> uh, the legs can move uh, that wide, it can't really move too far, but they do have this uh, 
spinning rotation movement. Uh, and for the, the first knee, it has a little bit of a ball joint right here. You can move that far and back. Uh, the second knee can pretty much do the same thing. It's got a twisting motion, and I think, uh, yeah, the first knee has twisting motion as well. And uh, there's no articulation in the ankles, but still you can see the, the claws on there. It's the, the claws that the Velociraptor has. Uh, the tail has a little bit of a ball joint right here, and uh, right here is where we assemble the tail. And uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, I can't really think of any complaints for this guy. Uh, well, actually, I can. Never mind. Scratch that. Um, the standing, he isn't the best at standing. Uh, you kind of have to uh, balance him in a certain way in order for him to stand. So that's a little bit of a problem because he is a little front heavy. Uh, the teeth, the paint on the teeth could have been a little bit better in my opinion. And also this little uh, weird nose thing on here. I'm not sure what that is. It, like the little line sculpt thing on the nose. It looks kind of weird to me. So down here at the bottom of the foot, he does have a scan sticker, which you know what that means. Uh, in case you guys don't know what it means, you basically have to scan this with the Jurassic World app. And then when it's done scanning, you will get the Indoraptor. Alright, so to wrap this review up, I'm just going to do a quick size comparison with this guy. Uh, I'm going to start off with this uh, Hasbro Indominus Rex that came with the little gyrosphere. And right here, there's a little skin tag right there, so I can step on that. Ah makes it look like flesh came off so it's pretty cool let um, me just put this guy next to the uh endoraptor you know i'm just gonna hold it uh so yeah the endoraptor is a little bit taller than this guy but still looks pretty cool here's the second indominus rex that i have uh this one is also made by hasbro it's pretty rare nowadays i see them on uh ebay for like like 500 bucks so i'm kind of glad I, I got them when i did um, so I don't have any batteries in them right now, but, uh, once you pull his arm down, his jaw opens up and he does like a roaring sound. And I think, uh, when you have him moving around, he makes like this stomping sound as well. And he also lights up on his back, which I'm not, I didn't really understand the point of that, but still, I guess it's kind of cool. Uh, his head was pretty much just made out of rubber and stuff. So it's pretty cool. So anyway, put them next to the Indoraptor here. So the Indominus Rex is a little bit bigger than the Indoraptor, but uh, yeah, pretty cool. And finally, we have the giant Indominus Rex. And honestly, I would say that these two are pretty accurate to scale. Um, this Indominus Rex, you can actually open his mouth and you can put action figures down his throat, which will go down to his stomach. And uh, there's a little door underneath his belly that you can uh, open up and the action figures will come out. So yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, so that pretty much wraps it up for the Indoraptor review. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If so, then please hit the like and subscribe button down below. And also don't forget to ring that bell to be notified for future videos. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you guys later.